balance in this country, 3700 100 444. The COVID inquiry is about to start. What should its core objectives be? And what do you expect to hear from it? 03 700 100 444. Uh, the Welsh Government has penalties for second homeowners. They could also introduce tourist tax. Will that help the housing market? Or perhaps you're involved in tourism. Does it hurt tourism? Does it hurt employment? Red Does light camera ahead. Where you are, 03700 100444. And can NHS hospitals function without staff from outside the UK? Very, very keen to hear from you. If you work in a hospital, tell me what you think. Uh, so that number, once again, 03700 100444. You can email any.answers at bbc.co.uk. You can text 84844. Just text. Uh, just check with your network providers for the exact costs of that. Or you can tweet using the hashtag BBCAQ. Uh, our first caller today is Grace Carter calling from London. And Grace, just before I speak to you, just in the last few seconds, we're getting news that the Conservative Party's Nigel Adams MP has also announced that he's following the former Prime Minister and former Culture Secretary Nadine Doris in quitting Westminster. He's announced this in a tweet. Let me read it to you. Uh, yesterday, Selby Cons Conservative selected an excellent new parliamentary candidate and I've informed the Chief Whip that I will be standing down as a Member of Parliament with immediate effect. So it's been an honour to represent the area where I was raised and educated. So, we had a working now going to stand down at the next election. It seems new in this, and as I say, it's just a fresh break. It's a little bit more on this debate. But he's saying he's going to step down with immediate effect. That is a third by-election then for Rishi Sunak. So, Grace Carter, follow that. Uh, what, what did you want to say? What have you made? What's been going on the last few hours? Um, yes, what I'd like to say is that Boris Johnson has been hoisted by his own petard. Um, he doesn't have to blame anyone. Um, regarding um, the knighthoods, no, um, Rishi Sunak should not go ahead with the knighthoods. Boris Johnson is under investigation. If he is found to be guilty of lying to Parliament, will these knighthoods still stand? I suspect they will. And that smacks of utter corruption as far as I'm concerned. I lost three family members in the pandemic, unable to see them while party gate was going on. My mother had dementia. I had to stand outside in all weathers. She did not understand what was going on and it was immensely cruel. But these people seem to have no understanding of the effect of their actions. And we now know Red light that camera all ahead. this was not necessary. Regarding the Dean Doris, she had the audacity to tell us that we should move on. Well, I'd like to say to Nadine Doris, grief doesn't have a timeline. And you have no moral authority to tell us to move on. I don't believe in the knighthood system at all, but I am delighted that she didn't get one. Right. Um, we had a very affecting call from Philippa last week. Um, I don't know whether you heard the programme, but we've been... Yes, I did. ...with and replies. And and we've spoken to Philippa and um, she's fine, she's all right, and um, she's, she's okay with us talking about that phone call. A lot of different radio stations have picked up on it, also and have been talking about it. The COVID inquiry begins next week. You see, you, I mean, you're, you're discussing things that cross a whole legion of questions on this programme. Yes. What do you yes. want to hear from that COVID inquiry? What do you hope that COVID inquiry will look at and conclude? Well, I hope that it will really go into absolute depth of what actually happened, how those decisions were made. I mean, all this business about WhatsApp me messages, it's, it's disgusting. I mean, government policy should not be made on the hoof like that. And apart from this being personal grief and tragedy for us families, these deaths were on a national scale. It's epic. These people in charge, um, as far as I'm concerned, have proved themselves to be unfit. So I would like the inquiry to in um, rigorously turn right on the whole the whole procedure of how decisions were made, what they knew, what they didn't know, and I would like it for us all to know that because. There seems to be so much cover-up here, people concealing things, and I think this just makes it even more 